Good afternoon, everybody. So today's video request is going to be about people that basically hate one another for no apparent reason whatsoever. And funny thing was, when I went to high school, when I first went into high school, there was this one dude staring at me. And by the looks of it, like he's looking at me like he can't stand me. Meanwhile, I never even did anything to him. I don't even know who the hell he is, and he doesn't even know who the hell I am. But, you know, he's just looking at me, so I'm staring at him, like, you know, from a corner of my eye, like, why the fuck's this bastard looking at me, you know? But, you know, not, nothing happened, no no argument or anything. But then, funny thing was, we became friends, but the funny thing was, once he grabs me to the side, he says, you know what, Justin? In the beginning, I, I didn't like you. I didn't like you. But now, we we homies, you know, like, shit like that. I'm like, okay, cool, man. You know, <laughs> meanwhile, like, I'm saying to myself, why don't, what did I do that you don't, you know, I mean... Is it the way I look? Is it because I'm a white dude? You know, I mean, this is where it all goes by race and just by people's appearance and shit, like how people look or whatever. Already like, oh, I can't stand that person. I mean, you don't even know who that person is. This is the crazy fucking thing. It's like people think they know that person inside out when they don't, you know. It's like we think we could just figure somebody out just by the way they look. And that's not really always the case. It's not. It's not. You know, it's not, I, I can understand if maybe I'm a dick, I'm an asshole, then yeah, I can understand someone not liking me or vice versa, me not liking that person. But, you know, it's the first day there and I'm, this guy's just giving me looks. And I guess maybe because the way, maybe because of my race or something. I think he was Spanish and I was, uh, you know, a white guy. Maybe he didn't like white people. Who knows? You know, this is where race gets involved. Meanwhile, what did I do to you? It's not like I ever did anything bad to him. I don't even know who the hell he is and he don't know, he don't even know who the hell I am. But now we're buds or whatnot you know i still talk to him time to time but it's crazy you know what i mean how people just randomly just like to look for trouble it's like people like to look for uh, fights meanwhile the person never even did anything to you but you just have nothing better else to do but look for fights like i can't stand you uh is there a reason why really maybe because how i look or whatever you know that's like the reason why i didn't do anything physically to you or you know bad to you or anything what the hell what the hell don't you like about me? You know what I mean? I don't even know who the hell you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's just the shit that's crazy about people. How fucking immature and stupid they are. It's like they just look for arguments. They look for fights. Look for drama. People just strive over drama. A lot of people. I'm not saying everybody does, but there's a lot of people that just strive over that shit. It's like they just, like, it gets them pumping. I don't know how to say it, but it's like, really, man? Like, just it amazes me how immature and stupid humanity truly is. Like, they're really... It really does. You know, it's like me just walking up to someone because of his race or just by his appearance or whatever and just be like, hey, yo, you, I can't stand you. What's the reason to it? Well, just the way you look. I can't stand the way you look. Your eyes are far away from each other. Like this eye is far away. And that, you know what I mean? Like, well, this eye and this eye is very close together and that just pisses me off. It's like stupid shit, you know? Like, I don't get people, man. It's like, this is how immature people are, how we treat each other like complete dog shit, man. You know, it's just, it's just amazing. Like, I sit back and I always say to myself, can humanity really be this dumb and immature? And the answer to that question is obviously, yes. Yes, they can. And I'm one of those people that don't look for trouble. I like to be a nice, chill person. You know, I don't go looking for fights. I don't act like I'm a badass or I'm better than you or better. Because truth is, whether I am or not, I'm not the type that's going to brag about it, you know, and truly, I don't find myself better than nobody, really. I'm just here trying to take it day by day, just like everyone else. That's basically my motto, you know, that's, I'm not a show off or anything like that. Even if I was, let's just say a rich person, which I'm not, but let's just pretend I am, I still wouldn't do that. You know what I mean? It's just, because obviously that starts trouble and shit, and it's just immaturity, man. Like, I don't know. I just don't get people, bro. It's fucking crazy, man crazy the world we live in it's just a competitive world you know we always got to be better than one another we got to treat each other like shit we got to belittle one another it's just this is all this is all it's just not this is nothing new this is just the same stale news and it's just the stale news that just keeps going on in this world you know and it's just something that's going to always keep going on no matter what it's just never going to change you're always going to have this type of shit going on race is always going to be a thing fights in life is always going to be a thing murders crimes pretty much everything everything that 
we hear already, it's not going to change. It's just going to get worse, if anything. If anything, it will change for the worse. It ain't going to get better. That I can tell you for sure, sadly. I wish I was wrong, but us hum humans prove prove it, you know? We, we prove it, that it just gets worse and worse. And yet, when New Year's comes around, we celebrate. What? I don't fucking know. I truly don't fucking know. What are we getting all hyped for? What are we getting all excited for? It's just another pathetic year of bullshit, of misery, of torment expenses fights race you name it things that i don't even that i didn't even mention in a bit you know like ah <sighs> man guys it's just i don't know what to do man i'm just i'm trapped i feel like i'm at a dead end like i'm just trapped how do i get out of this mess how do i get out of this mess why did i have to even be be in this mess to begin with oh yeah because uh too little you know male and females went at it and now mom and dad had brought me into this bullshit thanks mom and dad appreciate it <laughs> but, i mean i say to myself every day like why do i gotta live this headache why do i gotta live this bullshit and i'm not trying to sound dark but truth is life's fucking dark man plus it gets dark at night so that gives a hint right there i mean it's bright out right now but trust me there's nothing really bright about this life every few things there's more negative things, there's more evil things in this life than, than good things. You know? And it's just the truth. Whether people want to call me negative or depressed for saying that, hey, go ahead. If that makes you, if that gets you through the day, then so be it. But I'm just describing what it's all about. Whether people want to accept it or don't accept it or believe it or don't believe it, in denial, whatever. You know? But that's just what I'm saying. You know? I'm not saying anything bad. I'm just describing what this life is and if you find what i'm saying is bad then you got to say to yourself this life is bad there was once a person that would that told me to make a video about talking about some positive things in life and truly i want to make a video like that but i just i don't know what to say to what's positive about this life because truly i can't think of anything positive in this life because everything i see in this life is full of negativity you know, it doesn't mean I'm negative, but it's just I'm surrounded by neg negativity. You know, like everything I see, it's just it's downright cold. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just I truly can't think of anything good to say about life. I mean, I, I'm, I'm honestly even I'm trying to just think if there's one thing I can say. I mean, I mean, playing video games, I guess. But at the same time, reality always gets in the way of shit and ruins your fun. You know, there's fun things to do but you can't do anything fun unless you have a piece of paper with you every everywhere you go you need to have this rectangular fucking thing with you you got it's like you have no freedom you're like on a leash you can only go a certain amount of distance until oh you don't have enough for that you can't go any further you know like like you're literally on a leash that's positive you can't even spread your wings and fly in this world Yes, we can't fly with human beings, but you know what I'm trying to say? Like, we literally can't do anything unless we have money. It's like, that's positive. I mean, it's like, this is what I'm saying. I don't know what to say positive about this life. And I apologize for not thinking, but I just can't. I can't. I don't ever say give up. I don't ever say don't follow your dreams. I, I definitely don't ever say that. But what I am saying is I just can't think of one thing positive to say about this life because I just don't see anything positive. In the end... We all just died. That's actually, actually, there is one thing I can say that's positive. We all die. This is all temporary. This will finally come to an end. That's one positive thing I could say. But sadly, it may not come to an end anytime soon. I mean, we just don't know. Anyone could die randomly anytime, any moment. But most likely people like us that just want out of this bullshit in the worst way, we'll keep living decades and decades and decades and you name it, decades, you know. One positive thing I guess I could say is knowing one day this will come to an end. But will it really come to an end? Or will we be reincarnated back into this shit? Or will we go into some other dimension that's even worse than this? You know, it's like it's just a big mystery. Nobody truly knows. If that's the case, I definitely just hope it's lights out. See, me personally, if I die, there's two things I hope for when I when when death when when we all reach death. I hope it's either just lights out or there is a so-called heaven and we're all at peace happy uniting you know but if it's not any of those i just prefer lights out sometimes in a way lights out's just better anyway because like i, I think i mentioned this in the past 
you don't have nothing to worry about. Whatever bad happened to you, let's say, in your life, when it's just lights out, you won't even know whatever happened. You know, a poor person that got raped, a poor person that got assaulted, whatever. When you're dead, you won't even know what happened. If it's just lights out, because you're unaware. It's, it's just, that's it. Boom, it's off. You, you shut down, you know, you shut down from consciousness. So it's like, in a way, in my opinion, I look at lights out to be actually the most blissful thing. It may sound scary to some, but really, it's not really going to be scary once you're in that state. Because once you're in that state, you're not going to be aware or have any feelings to be scared or anything because you just you don't exist that's it you know it's like when you weren't born let's just say possibly you know so that's why in a way as dark as it may sound as scary as it may sound to some people but i find lights out at the end at the end of this life is the most blissfulest thing because then we don't gotta we have no regrets of anything we don't have to worry about it. that's it you know it's like people that take their lives for example which i never recommend anybody doing but I've, unfortunately, you know, I, I can't stop anybody, you know, but people that do that, some people may have regrets, man, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Now I'm like, you know, who knows? Or just whatever. But when you die and it's just lights out, you won't have any regrets. You won't even know that you did that because it's lights out. So this is what I'm saying. Lights out truly is blissful to me because you're unaware of, you know, Whatever happened in your life doesn't matter. You don't even know what ever happened. It's like it, it basically, it's like it never happened. I mean, it happened, but you're unaware of it now. You, you, it's it. End of the line, Jack, you know? <laughs> yeah, but that's just my opinion, you know? Whether people want to, you know, it's all up, you know? But truly, I don't know what the hell happens after death. I'm not saying that is what happens after death. I probably wouldn't be surprised if that's what happens. And I hope, honestly, I actually hope that does happen because then we wouldn't have nothing to worry about. You know, that's just my opinion. Then there are people that say, I hope there's a better life after this because we all deserve better. And I agree in that too. We do. We obviously deserve better because this life sadly sucks. There's so many problems this life could offer us. Health problems, financial problems, you name it. So we all hope one day, once we die, we actually go to some, you know, blissful place. And that's so-called heaven. So yeah, I'm all for that too. I guess you know I'm 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 either for that or or the the lights out completely thing. You know, if it's like reincarnation or any, like like uh, lingering on this world still when you're dead, like you know how like for example there's some places that are haunted where spirits linger around. I'm not for that. I don't want to linger around here. I, you know, I just I don't. I'm bad enough. I'm trapped here now and. I'm, then when I'm dead, I'm trapped here for eternity, just lingering around in that location, trapped. You know what I mean? That sounds terrible. That sounds terrifying. Compared to that to being just lights out, I, I would say that sounds way more terrifying. That's just my opinion, at least. But I would I would think that's a fact, though. Because there's a lot of things to say where places are haunted is where people died or where people were murdered. So let's say this person was murdered at this location or killed or, you know, just died randomly at this location. That's where their spirit haunts for eternity. But I don't think the spirit has f any free... F I mean, I could be wrong. I have no idea if it's even true or not. <laughs> you know, but I'm just saying, like, they just linger around that location. Me, I know I'll probably go crazy. I would want to get out of there. Can I at least, like, float around to a different location or something? You know, like... Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, imagine just being trapped in that setting. Knowing, for example, this is where you were murdered. This person murdered you here. And now you got to look at this... You know, I'll, I'll be depressed as a ghost, man. <laughs> I mean, I kid you not. I'm like, like, I gotta, and I don't even think spirits sleep if that's the case. So I gotta look around me like, this is where I was killed. This is where I was killed. I'm trapped in an environment where my life was taken, and here I am now living for an eternity in the afterlife in this setting of where my serial killer killed me. You know what I mean? Like, doesn't that sound depressing? I know it does to me. But if it's just lights out, you won't know that. You were even killed because now you're dead and that's it. So if you ask me, I prefer lights out any day than that, or at least a heaven or something. But I think in all in all people, and that's just my opinion, I think lights out is probably one of the best blissful things that could happen to us because we just won't know whatever hit us. We won't know whatever whatever approached us. No, that's just my opinion though. I'm not I'm, you know, that's just how I feel, but yeah. But yeah, going back to the thing where people just not liking you for any 
apparent reason like you know for no reason at all they just don't like it it could be a lot of things they're jealous of you or something maybe you have a certain thing that they wish to have and that you didn't do anything bad to them but just knowing that you have a certain thing like you have a nice car let's say or whatever nice or or a nice feature looks or whatever that the person feels he or she slacks to have they end up getting jealous of you and right there they just hate you you didn't do anything bad to them but that's what you did bad to them if you get what i mean like by having nice things by looking hot got them to hate you you know like it's just it's crazy it's just prejudice man it's just it's all com competition i gotta be the hot one i gotta be the one that has nice things you know that that's our that's humanity's attitude you know we all want to have nice things i can understand that but to hate someone over it i mean it's just it's fucked up now if they're bragging over it i can understand that's a dick but for someone that has it but the, you know you see you see he's not he's a nice he's a nice person he doesn't want to look for trouble i mean that i find wrong to just hate a person because of that if a person's a show off bragging look at this man yeah i can understand and i can understand don't get me wrong i can understand it but to just go after someone for no apparent reason i mean that's a whole different story i mean that's just it's crazy man this is the world we live in it's sad it's it's disturbing in my opinion i would say that's a fact though but we all want a piece of the pie, but we want the big pie. If that pie, is, if that person's pie is bigger than ours, well, then that person's, that person gets mad at that person. Like, hey, you want to switch? No, man, this is my pie. I want your pie. Give me your pie. All right, then. I can't stand you. I'm going to fuck you up, you know? <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to make a little joke about it, but at the same time, it's really, it's the truth of what goes on, man. It's just... I don't know anymore, people. I just I can't take it, man. I don't know how much more of this bullshit I could take. You know, it's just you could you could see it in my face. I'm just getting more and more fed up with this shit every day. I, every day I wake up, man. You know. But uh, anyway, guys, I think I'm gonna call it a day there. Hope I uh, made the made you happy with this request. Hope I said everything pretty much that I could think of in this one particular video. If not, I do apologize. But uh, yeah, gonna be signing off for now. And all kidding aside, people treat each other nice, man. Let's all get along. Let's all give each other hugs. Just kidding. But <laughs> not seriously, man. Like, why can't we all just fucking get along, bro? Why? Who cares what race? Who cares what things that person has? But that's the thing. It ain't gonna, you know, what I'm saying is not gonna happen, you know? I can understand if the person's a show off or just an asshole in general. Yeah, I can understand. And then being, you know, but just picking on someone that did absolute nothing bad to you never talked shit about you never even did anything to you and you know it's just it's fucked up man but it's just the way it's gonna be unfortunately it's nothing i can do to change it. it's nothing nothing we can do people are just stupid and it's just like i said in the video in, in the past you can't fix stupidity stupidity will always take over no matter what and multiple things stupidity wins in phones glitching buffering youtube videos you know like youtube comments being stupid a lot of people still say they send certain comments and it gets deleted and then sometimes maybe people think i'm the one deleting it and it's not me it's not me i don't delete anyone's comment and sometimes i don't see everybody's comment it's weird like sometimes i'll i'll, I'll see a comment a month later you know or, or sometimes i don't even see it period i don't ever see it it's weird that's where you could say stupidity enters the building i guess you could say you know like just stupidity comes in so many forms humanity technology everything but uh Anyway, guys, I'm going to sign off now. Love you all, and uh, stay safe out there. Stay blessed as best as possible. That's all I can say, man. I'm trying to do the same as well. Peace out, guys. Love you all.